Hello everyone, I'm Tommy from Tommy's Reptiles. For today's video, we're gonna do a day in the life of what it's like to be at Tommy's Reptiles. I get home from work, I feed my animals if they need to eat, I change their water and give them water if they need to drink, and I spot clean their enclosures if need be. So let's get started. I always first start off with my outdoor animals just so I can feed them before it gets dark. These are my two turtle tubs. We'll start off with a diamondback terrapin. Look at all that duckweed. I gotta clear some of that out, put it in the other enclosure real quick because then he can't see the food if there's too much duckweed. So I just grab a bunch, put it in there. It helps keep the water clean and keep these guys water cool. And we actually have way too much of it, so I'm just gonna actually just take it out and throw it on the ground. There we go. All right, let's feed this terrapin a little bit of mixed aquatic turtle food. She has always been an eating machine. And it's okay if she eats a little bit of duckweed in between the turtle food. All right, now we'll move on to my other turtle tub. We'll get some of that duckweed out of the way. Give these guys some food. In this tub, I have a Belize slider and two Mississippi map turtles. I've had them for about six years and they're doing great. There's the Belize slider, investigating. Ready to eat, I bet. And there he goes. He's not shy at all, but the map turtles are pretty shy. So I'm gonna leave these turtles alone so the map turtles could eat in peace because they probably won't eat in front of me and then this guy will steal all the food. So let's move on. Over here are my two makeshift box turtle enclosures. They're temporary, but I'm thinking over here, I'm gonna make a big, nice box turtle sanctuary. But for now, I have these things over there enclosures to keep the raccoons and stuff out. So first I just open this thing up and this guy makes his water dirty every day, so I always have to clean it out. So I just have this nice spray bottle. And I rinse out all the sand and gunk and fill it up with fresh water. Oh, look what happens to be in this enclosure, his favorite food. Just by, <laughs> just by chance. It's a worm. Here you go, come on, get that worm. This is the great thing about keeping reptiles outside. They get the best of both worlds. You feed them and nature feeds them. All right, well, he's chopping down on that worm. I'm gonna get back to his chores. So we'll just top off his water. I have to clean that, uh, that algae out once every couple weeks, but it grows back pretty quick. So I fill that up and then I put him back here and I'll give him a little bit of that aquatic turtle food. He loves this stuff. All right, buddy, there's your food. Move this back a little bit and you'll see he goes right for it once he smells it. This guy is another eating machine. All right, let's move on to the next turtle. Close that so no critters can get in. We're good to go. And this is that turtle's next door neighbor. So we're gonna change his water and give him a little snack. I'm gonna move him right in front of his little eating platform and let's see if he's hungry. And I always moisten the turtle food a little bit so it's easier for him to chew if he does want to eat. Well, this little one could be shy too, so I'm actually gonna close him up and let him be so he can eat in peace so he's not afraid of the camera. So let's move on. All 
So that's it for my outdoor chores. Let's go inside and see what's going on with the animals in my reptile room. All right, guys, we're in the reptile room now. We're gonna start off with my fish slash turtle tank. I actually really like fish keeping. I'm not that good at it, but it's definitely a side passion of mine. And what better reason to have to get a fish tank and better excuse than having turtles. So there's my other diamondback terrapin swimming around. These big red belly paku. I have some African cichlids in here and then these silver dollar fish and that little, um, that little black shark back there. And I also have a pleco who's hiding back there. First, I'm gonna put in some of this aquatic turtle food. The fish also love it. Uh, I think it's okay for them to eat. I've been feeding my fish this food for uh, probably like six years now and never any issues, but the turtle needs to eat. And for the fish specifically, I'll be giving them these cichlid flakes, but I often change their food with this and bug bites and then that frozen stuff that you can get at the pet shops. All right, so a quick update on my shelving system here in my reptile room. This is a 60 gallon fish tank, which is four feet long. I'm gonna replace that with a six foot long enclosure. So my fish and turtle have more room to swim around. Down here, I took that enclosure out. So I'm gonna get a longer enclosure for my Brazilian rainbow boa. And then up here, I'm gonna take both of these enclosures down and I have an all American cages enclosure in the other room that I gotta set up. That's gonna be six foot as well. So now I'm gonna swap my snake's water out. I change his water every single day just to keep it nice and clean and fresh, as you can see. But I just dump it out every day, no matter what. I just dump it in the toilet, put it back. And then I always have water jugs around my reptile room with fresh water that they can drink. And then I just replace it every single day. And my Brazilian rainbow boa is an animal who requires a lot of humidity. So after I change this water every day, I give this enclosure a nice spray down, make sure the humidity levels stay up. And every day, he's usually right in the same spot. Right in here, hoping that I'm gonna give him something to eat. But you ate yesterday, didn't you? So we're gonna leave him alone, just finish spraying this hot side of his enclosure, which has a radiant heat panel. And actually I see he went to the bathroom over there. So this is where I'll spot clean. So I just take a little towel, pick it up, and then I go flush it down the toilet. Then I like to finish off by spraying inside of his humid hide and making sure it's nice and damp in there. And up here on that top enclosure I showed you earlier, I have my quince monitor, Walter. He ate yesterday, he doesn't have to eat, but we'll see if he wants to interact a little bit. Come on up, buddy. Come on. It's all right, bud. Well, he might be a little grumpy today, so we'll move on. See you later, buddy. So right here next to Walter, I have my two juvenile frilled dragons. First, I just offer them some water. I usually offer them water twice a day, but they like to drink running water. So this little one doesn't want to drink. Let's see if this one will. But they like to drink running water. If they don't drink within the first like five to 10 seconds, then I wait till later and I offer them water again. So their enclosure needs a little spot clean, so I also just pick that up with some toilet paper real quick, and then I go flush it down the toilet, and let's give these guys something to eat. In their menu today, they're getting calcium-covered superworms, but I'm not gonna keep filming it because they're not gonna eat in front of the camera. They haven't been recently, which is why I haven't really been filming them too much. Oh, never mind. I was wrong. That little one is crazy. Glad to see it. And this one's eyeballing it. Well, either way, let's move on. 
down here to Squishy the Frilled Dragon in his girlfriend Rattles enclosure. Squishy's already ready to eat. We'll offer him a little drink, see if he's thirsty. He's like, man, give me that food. There he goes, he's having a little drink. But we know why he's really here. All right. And then I just offer him water till I stop sipping it. Let's see if she's thirsty. There she goes, a little drink. Then what I do is I take her down off this perch and bring her down with Squishy so he doesn't steal all the food because he definitely will if I let him. I actually have to put her in front of the food so she can see it. There you go, girl. Yeah, I accidentally dumped too much calcium in there. I usually don't put that much, but kind of just dumped it right in. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? That a boy, Squishy. There she goes. All right, buddy, she's seen the food. Now you guys can share. And these guys will go to town till all those worms are gone. It's time to move on. And my boy Moth doesn't seem to be thirsty, but I know he's hungry. He's been doing good. He's finally shedding on his own, no problem. He's still gotta get rid of that shed, but it's coming right off. And let's give him something to eat. Here you go, buddy. Good job, bud. All right, let's see what else we got going on. All right, on top of my frilled dragon enclosures right here, we have two dart frog enclosures and then a spotted turtle. I fed the dart frogs yesterday, so I'll just try to show you them today. But actually, I spray them down every single day to make sure that they have adequate water. See if we could find one right in there. They're always hiding unless there's food. All right, that's it. That's it for these guys. And right next to them, yes, I know I have to clean my glass. I have two Dendrobates tinctorius dart frogs. This one is a green Cipollowini and this one is an Azurius. This plant is doing great by the way and I don't know, I've had this plant for like a year and a half and it was been doing great and all of a sudden it's dying, but let's spray these guys down. And like I said, these guys also ate yesterday. They eat flightless or wingless fruit flies. And some of them are still crawling around in here, so. All right, take it easy guys. And last but not least, we have my little spotted turtle. He's in this little spotted turtle nursery but uh, he'll be getting a nice upgrade. I actually tried to upgrade him, but failed the build, it all messed up. So I had to just keep him in this little 10 gallon for now, but he's doing okay. He's eating like a champ. And we'll also give him some aquatic turtle food growth formula. All right, all right, hold your horses. It's coming. There you go, bud. You guys having a little trouble, huh? You gotta let it soak up some water first, buddy. All right, while he's waiting for those to soften up, let's give him a little turtle stick appetizer that I know he can eat. Oh, there he goes.
All right, buddy, enjoy your meal. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for watching Tommy's Reptiles.